Hello, welcome to Southeast Oakville Vet. I think there's a lot that sets us apart. We've put a lot of thought into how to make the whole experience for, for people and their pets as, as um, optimal as, as possible. So whether that's from making the visit as stress-free as, as possible by separating dogs and cats um, into separate exam rooms or, or waiting areas. She's got a gentle mouth. She's a lovely dog. There are three vets on staff, as well as veterinary technicians like Shaniqua Lowe. <laughs> I wanted to be a technician since I was a kid, about five years old, and I've always fallen in love with animals, and it's just been a passion. That feisty little feline demanding introduction is Nico, a 10-day-old rescue she's fostering. Shanique was excited to help open the new hospital. I've always wanted to work with a good team that is um, collaborative and works well together, so it's been really exciting to work with people that love animals just as much as I do and want to do the same care. Oh, it's not just one eye on a case, it can be multiple, right? And, and everyone um, has the psychological safety to, to chime in when they think um, something can be done a little bit differently or, or better. Allowing them to provide the best care possible for canine and feline patients alike. They've also invested in new technology like ultrasound and laparoscopic surgery. We were uh, among a handful of uh, general practices in the Greater Toronto Area that are, that are offering that service. So there's become an, an increasing demand for that type of minimally invasive surgery. Um, and you know, some people uh, might drive pretty far to, to find that, so we're happy to have a, another option in, in Oakville. Keep our pets as, as healthy as possible for as long as they can be, and they can enjoy more and more time with, with their people, right? They're accepting new patients now and will be officially cutting the ribbon with Mayor Burton on May 29th. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.